Did Keystone Cougar make the best half-ton towable front kitchen travel trailer on the market? Let's go take a look. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Miles with Firmly Unbound, and we are here taking a look for the first time at the 2025 Keystone Cougar travel trailer, and this here is a new front kitchen model. It is their 25 FKD, and it is pretty dang impressive. You'll be able to see the floor plan layout and the specs on the screen. And then before we head inside, I wanna let you know real quick, I am here with Blue Compass RV. So if you are interested in this RV, there is a link down below in the comments and description that will get you to our website where we have over a hundred different stores in 33 different states, many of which carry the Cougar products. So you can find those there and hopefully find a store close by you where you can find this RV or something similar to it. So that link is there to help you out when you are ready to start shopping for your next RV. And and then as we get through this thing, there's definitely a lot to talk about. I know y'all want me to get to the inside really quick, but there's something important that I need to talk to you about on the outside, and it has to do with the sidewalls. So one thing that has always been peculiar to me about the Keystone Cougar line is it is a very, very popular travel trailer and fifth wheel line, as Cougar makes both travel trailers and fifth wheels. And they have always been one of the top selling product lines in their segments. In fact, my family even has a Keystone Cougar fifth wheel right now. We have a 364 BHL, which is their two bedroom fifth wheel RV. But the one thing that has always been strange to me is the fact that Keystone Cougar, especially being a lightweight model, does not have Asdale sidewalls. Now, I was able to talk to some people here at Keystone and pretty excited to announce that they have actually introduced what they are calling their hypercore sidewalls. So you may not know if you haven't watched a lot of my Keystone videos or if you just haven't shopped much Keystone RV stuff, but they actually have a subflooring underneath here that they developed called Hyperdeck, which is a composite panel subflooring that they use in the Keystone Cougar lines, as well as many of their other lightweight travel trailer lines. And then they also have now come up with this hypercore sidewall, which is also a composite panel sidewall. And get this, Keystone RV is one of the only manufacturers that has actual testing facilities on their campuses. So they have huge properties here in Indiana and they have innovation labs where they have engineers that are constantly testing things, putting things to the test to see how they stand up. And there are actually seven different composite sidewall manufacturers that they can go with in the RV industry and Asdale is just one of them. And they put all of these sidewalls through rigorous testing to see which one would hold up the longest and stand up the best over the course of time and over the you know amount of abuse that someone might put an RV through. And Asdale did not win out in that competition. So Keystone actually came up with their own sidewall. I can't remember what material exactly it was that they went with and now they have this hypercore sidewall. So this is going to be a exterior and interior composite sidewall with no more Luon in the sidewall there. So really exciting. That is something I have been waiting to see from Keystone that I felt like was really hurting them because so many people are stuck on insisting on having something with Asdell and Keystone products just didn't have it. And especially a very popular line like the Keystone Cougar didn't have it but now they do. And that is just one of the many things that they have innovated on. And it's worth noting that Keystone is one of the only brands that innovates in this way. So most brands are just buying products from suppliers like Asdell and then using those products in their RVs, whereas Keystone is actually testing these products in their testing facilities. And if they don't meet the standard that they want and feel like they can make something better, they will do that and they will test and figure out a way to do that. So really cool to see and hear about that with Keystone. And I hope to, in the future on this channel, dig more into you know the kind of innovations and research that Cougar does, as I've heard quite a few different stories that you will hear in other Cougar videos. Like many of y'all might have seen the Midnight Edition Cougars that they don't have here right now, but they're the black full body paint Cougar fifth wheels that they sell. And they're called the Midnight Edition and they're all solid black on the outside. Well, Keystone tested these outside before they put them out into the market. And they made a um, video actually of the test where they put a solid white Keystone Cougar outside like this one here and put the same black Cougar model outside and tested them both side by side on a 98 degree day. And the interior sidewall temperature on both of them was within two degrees of one another at the peak heat of the day. So they do all of this testing to make sure the stuff they're putting out actually does what it's supposed to do. And that is something that I don't know that every manufacturer does. Um, 
right here before we step inside, you have the privacy shade so you can peek at your neighbors, your neighbors can't peek at you. And sorry for that long winded, you know, explanation, but I felt like it was necessary because um, one thing I was talking to the Keystone team about, and we are obviously stepping inside this floor plan and curious your thoughts. So let me know what you think as we go around. It's a very beautiful front kitchen. Love this thing. And I was talking to them and I was telling them they need more stickers or advertising material inside of the RVs here because even your average salesperson is not going to know what they don't know. And if there's nothing in here letting you know that this has a hyperdeck composite flooring underneath here that is literally about this thick underneath there with huge block foam insulation and is super strong and rigid, more strong than wood and more lightweight than wood, they just don't know it. And if you as a consumer haven't seen the right videos online, you don't know it either. And there's just nothing in here indicating that this RV has these different technologies in it and different innovations in it that are Keystone exclusives because Keystone has the ability to test these things and then patent them themselves. And most people just don't know about it. So I hope to see that change in the future where they add more stickers in here to let you know what things are unique or special about this besides just it being a similar looking floor plan to something else. But anyways, moving on from that, let's look through this model here. So right away, first thing I noticed, huge countertop space all throughout this travel trailer. You have new handles here, kind of almost like an industrial look maybe. I don't know if it's more industrial or traditional, but nice look on that. Ooh, and they went to a solid piece of wood here on the interior drawer construction. So no more like plywood drawers on that. Happy to see that. They are still using staples to adhere those together. That looks like that's just to add symmetry to the space. Soft closed cabinet doors, but you can see that solid wood looks so much better in there and definitely going to hold up better, but still using staples on the sides to adhere those together. But nonetheless, the solid wood is just gonna be stronger than that wood they were using before and also looks better in my opinion. Then you have storage here underneath the sink. Nice big storage there. There is also really considerable storage outside for a front kitchen model, so stay tuned for that. Love the soft closed cabinet doors. These countertop materials are like a wrapped countertop. I don't know if it's thermofoil or something else, but it's not a solid surface countertop as this would be a huge heavy amount of countertop material for that and would push this outside of the realm of being half ton towable. Um, also, I believe this is under 7,000 pounds fully loaded. Um, we'll try to remember to look at the specs when we go back outside. Storage space up through here. Then you have storage space around here and even some storage space through here. Plus you have pull down blackout shade on your front windshield, but you do have that front windshield there. Outlets here and you have USB ports with the USB type C connection right there. Um, any of these outlets with this yellow sticker on it mean if you have a 440 watt solar system from Keystone or up, it will come with an inverter that will power those outlets from your battery system and the inverter whenever the inverter is on. Standard RV size microwave, three burner Furion gas stove. And then you have your standard RV size oven and nice big storage underneath here. Can fit like some pots and pans in that space. Then you have the dual opening Furion refrigerator. See how it opens from this side? Or if you're just coming from outside, you can also open it this way. So you don't have to walk all the way into the RV to get into the space. And I'm trying to think if there's another front kitchen model that is doing the refrigerator right here. And I don't know that there is. So pretty interesting spot to place this. Very curious what you think, but it allows for a lot more use of space in this area. A lot of times we see a fridge maybe like right here, or we see a fridge like right here, which pushes the door more this way. Um, the way they designed this really, I think, works well. And then also, my the biggest thing that I like about this is they didn't design the bathroom to be behind the TV here, which forces it to have a radius shower. They did something different where you actually have a hidden pantry back behind here. So really nice big pantry space right there. Latch that closed. I don't know, yeah, you just pull on this, okay. And there's a latch right there that allows that to break free. So really love that. This looks to be about a 40 inch screen TV, maybe 38 inches, so not too terribly huge. But when you sit down in the recliners, it's really a great size for this space. So not bad whatsoever. You have this, um, why am I blanking on this? Electric fireplace, gonna be an electric heat source for you. 
totally almost blanked on my words there. Spot to hang some clothes here and then ceiling height at the tallest point in this travel trailer is about seven feet tall. You have the new Furion Chill Cube AC right here and then you have ducted AC. You can see they're using the blade AC vents. So let me flip this camera around so you can see what that looks like. This is another patent from Keystone. Um, this is something I was even talking about with the Keystone people too, is most RV brands don't have a single patent on anything on their RVs because they don't innovate in anything. They just buy products from other um, manufacturers that buy, that supply the products, whether it's Flipper or Asdell or Moride or whatever, and then they just you know, throw a bunch of stuff in there that other brands made, whereas Keystone actually tests things out like this and comes out with their own stuff that they trademark or that they um, that they patent. And so this here pushes air out in a 360 degree motion, giving you much more airflow coverage throughout the entire RV. And through their own patented AC system, they get 20% more airflow coming into the RV than your standard ducting systems on other RVs. So that is something they tested in their own innovation labs to come up with. So pretty cool there. They've had these blade AC vents for quite a while, but just want to go back into that because it's been a while since I've really given a breakdown on that. And then this pushes air around in 360 degree motion, kind of floods this whole top area with cold air. As you know, heat rises. So it's going to work on that hottest air first and then work its way down to cool the RV quicker and more efficiently. Um, into the slide out here, you can see you have your booth dinette table. Love that they went to kind of this combo table and chairs, but also giving you a bench seating here. This will be an ottoman that you can move around wherever you want. So you could also use it as a footrest and there will be storage back behind there. And then they are using um, Velcro to hold that in place. Yeah, pull down blackout shades. I do wish they went to something different than the padded window valances in the Cougar lineup. I do like that these valances block the light from coming in through the side. But like I just did a video of a Keystone Passport and they are doing a wood frame around the windows that also blocks out the light. And I think that just looks better. So that's my opinion. And of course I'm sharing my opinions, but as we go through this RV, I want you to share your opinions as well as people here do watch these videos. They do read the comments and they do listen to your feedback. So please share your thoughts and ideas of what you like and what you don't like as you see this RV. Dimmer switches on your lights, both on these in the slide out and your overhead lights will also have their dimmer switch over here. Speaking of which, let's just come over here real quick to show you. you have your 12 volt heat pads on your water tanks as well. So half ton towable trailer with 12 volt heat pads on your water tanks, that electric heat source to keep those from freezing. Here's your dimmer light switch, slide controls, awning controls, everything like that. Also kind of cool, you have a sparkly design here in the uh, fridge, kind of a subtle little thing, but it gives it a little bit of a pop. In your recliners, you're going to have USB port, a standard USB port, it does have lights on it here. So you can see those lights will turn on down underneath there. And then they are a, is that heat and massage? Yep, heat and massage on these, plus the pull string to recline those all the way back. And then it looks like you will have storage underneath these chairs as well. Legless dinette table, so don't worry, don't have to worry about hitting your feet on anything there. And then this table actually does swivel around. So you can see right here, what is this gonna do? Oh my gosh, y'all. I really gotta test this out. It's probably about 90 degrees in this RV though and I'm sweating profusely, trying my best not to, but man, it's getting hot. And okay, yep, so it slides out and it, yep, will swivel around. So you have the option to use this as a desk space as well. Love that, definitely necessary. Push this up against the wall like such. And now you have a table that's either more out of the way or a working desk space for you. Really, really cool. Slide out flooring matches the rest of the flooring and always got to show this in a Keystone RV. This one in the Cougar has not only a wrapped subfloor down underneath there, but also a layer of foil insulation. I can promise you, if you look at under the slide out flooring in almost any other RV brand or pretty much any other RV brand and you are just going to see bare exposed wood on there. Some might have a foil layer of insulation over the bare exposed wood, but in this Cougar, and pretty much any Keystone RV across the line, they are wrapping the subfloor underneath here. And then some of the brands, they are even adding that added layer of insulation on the higher end stuff like this Cougar. Furion sound bar, and then you have sliding door going to the bathroom. As we step into the bathroom, I love a pass-through bathroom. Now I know these aren't for everybody. For some reason, some people do not like the pass-through bathrooms. I'm not gonna lie. I don't agree with y'all and I don't understand why you don't like them. They 100% of the time give you more space than a non-pass-through bathroom. 
because they go from one side wall of the RV to the other side wall of the RV. Obviously that's gonna give you more space than if you have a bathroom that does not go from wall to wall. So I like that a lot more, way more floor space in here. You have sliding doors on both sides for your privacy. And then you have a great amount of storage in here. So there's only a handful and a small handful of front kitchen travel trailers that have a pass-through bathroom like this, which the pass-through bathroom gives you one huge advantage, which is your ability to have a square shower or rectangle shower as opposed to a corner radius shower. If they don't do a pass-through bathroom in here, they eliminate their space to do this type of shower and they have to put a shower in a corner somewhere because that's all they have left to work with. So, love that you get this more rectangular shower. You have stainless steel, appliances in here or your shower faucet in here, not appliances, but you have a stainless steel shower faucet. Sorry, I was getting later in the day and I'm just getting like so tired of sweating. It's pretty humid here in Indiana where we are filming this, but you can see ceiling height shortest point is about six foot two right here, right at the kind of dead center point, but then stepping forward into the skylight, you could be about six foot four, six foot five. So that is great. This sits pretty dang high. I still have to duck just a little bit to get underneath it, but not too bad there. Plenty of room to move around. I mean, it is very comfortable in here. Let me flip the camera around and you can see my feet space. Or actually, let me just step out so I can show you. But the base in this shower, plenty of room in there. So love that. Glass shower door, AC ducted into here, of course, and then you have a vent van in the bathroom. Stainless steel sink here in the bathroom. You have your medicine cabinet and then you'll have storage here underneath the sink all through there. Tankless on-demand water heater. And then as we go into the bedroom, you are getting a queen size bed in here. So this is helping keep the length down on the RV. Space to walk around the side of the bed. You have dimmer switches in here, nice long night tables there, outlets, USB ports, storage up above. And ceiling height, again, is about seven feet at the highest point. Love that. Spot for a TV here, not too terribly big, but you can put a TV there. And then in these front kitchen models, you always get great storage. You can see all the space you have back behind here. To hang your clothes, definitely not very limited on what you have to work with there. Storage down through here, a couple different drawers. Definitely comes with a more premium mattress than your standard RV. So as I come around, you can see pretty nice feeling mattress there, not too terrible. Flip this up, you do have storage underneath the bed, sink covers underneath there, strut assisted. They did not cut the corners on this, that's surprising. That is like a little danger there to hit your knee on. Um, so would appreciate if they cut the corners there. They're gonna cut the corners anywhere, they should cut those corners, that's for sure, right? <laughs> but anyways, cheesy joke, gonna keep moving on. I'm literally dripping sweat, y'all. This is getting disgusting in here. Um, that's everything on the inside. Let's come outside. And as we step outside, you can see this one has the 440 watt solar system. So that is going to come with the inverter installed. Many dealerships will order these Cougar models with that 440 watt solar system, even though only 220 watts is standard. And you can actually get some Cougar RVs with up to 660 watts of solar, where you can run one of the ACs off of solar as well. But that package um, is something you have to custom order and is usually about eight to $10,000. So you can see your inverter in here. Look at this storage compartment, y'all. For a front kitchen model, Pretty dang nice. Have the LED light bar in here, 30 amp solar charge controller. You have your um, solar panel disconnect switch and inverter prep to add another inverter in here to run the ACs if you want. So that's the nice thing about the 440 watt system as well as it will come with that second inverter prep. So if you wanna add the second inverter that would be required to run the AC off of your solar equipment and battery equipment, you have that. Molded fiberglass front cap that's cut at about the three quarter points you have a automotive grade windshield chrome decals on that amber running lights that come down the sides or led lights and then you have your 20 pound propane bottles power tongue jack you can see keystone is really good they made this another patented thing where they have this box here that all your wiring runs to so it keeps it clean and concise through here and then you have your future solutions um, battery disconnect there as well i believe that's for the solar system as well with your um, components running to the batteries from solar. And as we come along this way, tankless on-demand water heater, your water hookup stations all right here, cable-driven slide mechanisms on this slide, 
And as you come back this way, it looks like a rack and pinion style slide mechanism down through here. You also have ABS on your wheels. So that is what those red drums are back behind there that you can barely see, but ABS on this Cougar travel trailer. So anti-lock braking system, definitely keeping you much more safe. And you have an upgraded road armor suspension on here. Not a whole lot of travel trailers coming with an upgraded suspension, but this is one of the best suspensions that you can get on a travel trailer RV with that road armor suspension. So definitely an improvement on that. You have all of your tanks coming to this one spot here along the back, fully enclosed underbelly, where your water tanks and water lines will not freeze whenever you have the furnace on as it will keep those from freezing underneath there. Ladder to get up onto the roof, you have your um, backup camera prep right there, spare tire, and you can store a sewer hose in this bumper. Now again, if you are interested in this RV, there's a link down below in the comments and description where you can find a Blue Compass location near you that sells Cougar or something similar to it. We have over 100 different stores in 33 different states, so we are here to help when you are ready. And that's all I got for you. Let me know what you think down below in the comments and very curious to hear your thoughts. So is Keystone, so let us know what you think. That's all I got for you. Until next time, live firmly unbound.